Okay, got my uh, soft waterproof pan ears from Amphibious. These are made in a town in, in Italy, and they were pretty big ones. I'm gonna go mount them and see how they look on my bike. So it's one week until I leave for uh, Alaska, Epic Trekker, Alaska. And so I've been picking up random cars, getting my stuff all installed. Got my soft bag mounting system on there. These are giant loop. Um, and basically just making sure the bike is ready to go. Uh, came with this throttle lock, which I've decided I hate. So I took my Atlas throttle lock off the NC700 and it fit great right on there. And man, does it work great with that camp with that finger. I mean, it, it really, it's just so much easier to use than this one, which I think I locked in place so I wouldn't have to mess with it anymore. Anyway, like stuff to mount my GoPro, um, some thermals I did pick up and I'll make a video on the installation of this, it's like a little air dam kind of thing to block the air that comes up through there. I've got a bigger windshield coming, hopefully. I'm gonna be using some bags like that on my rear seat, but those are the bags that are going on the back. A couple other things I picked up. This is uh, rig gear. It's not a really big tank bag, but I figured I might wanna have my map or my GPS in here. Um, so anyway, that tank bag's going on there. Got a connector for my uh, auxiliary battery. If I need to jump, I can jump using that. Then I got one also for bike to bike, so uh, me and my brother can jump across bikes if we need to. Um, this is a mount for my GoPro on my helmet. I like it down low. So I got this one to go around the jawline. And then this is one of the important things that I, uh, I really like to have when I ride. And plus that seat is not super comfortable. It's not bad, but it's not super comfortable. And I think I have the low seat, so even less padding. This is white um, wool, sheepskin wool. And I'm gonna cut it to fit. I'm gonna make two of them actually, one for me and my brother, and then uh, put some elastics on so it'll stay on, but that'll go on for the seat. These are pretty big bags. Um, they're going to take up a fair amount of space there. It does look like there are mounting points in just the right locations to mount to this rack. Now this giant loop rack, rack is uh, removable and lockable, which is really cool. So I can hook this on here and then at night when I get into my tent or whatever, I can just pull it off almost like uh, everybody's doing with their hard luggage. My brother has hard Honda luggage. Um, this also has a lot of flexibility in size, so I can, if I get rid of stuff as I go, I like to bring disposable underwear that I can just get rid of as I ride. Um, I can shrink this down to make it fit. I also really like this. You can lock it down, let the air out, and have it be really compact. Um, hit Velcro's across the top, so before you roll it down, you have it Velcro. I think this is gonna do a good job protecting me from the rain. The seams look welded really nice. It, the quality is, seems really high. Pretty excited about this Italian dry equipment. And we'll see, I'm gonna get it mounted and see how it looks. Okay, let me show you what this giant loop mount allows you to do. This one's a little bit harder to get off because I put some stuff on there to keep it from wiggling at all. What I've done is created my own strap here that connects through these loops and up here, and then uh, used the stock loops to connect here, here, under there, and under there. 
And then I took the uh, big long fat straps that are supposed to go across the seat to hold the two panniers together. And I've run them underneath the giant loop thing and stuck them together. And that gives you almost a rigid piece of luggage that you can take off of your bike instead of having hard luggage, which is pretty dang cool. Now, the only problem I ran into was that on the right side bag, I don't know if you can see that, there's no loop for me to hook onto on either side. So I ran it through the top loop, then just down around that to give it stability. And I think with these uh, other straps, I should, I gotta run this one underneath there. But I think with all of those, I should be okay. But I'm wondering why the bags are different. And it seems like probably this bag is blemished and missing those. So I'm gonna ping them about that and uh, see if there's anything they can do about it. And I will report back from these guys and let you know how they were to work from a customer service standpoint. These are 50 liter bags that are totally adjustable. Adjustable is cool on this thing because if you can see my racks are staggered. Uh, this one is in a normal position and this one's out further because of the exhaust, because the exhaust is so high on a twin. Um, so this will allow me to shrink down this bag on this side so that it's hopefully more of a proportionate look on both sides and weight too.